Hi boys and girls, and welcome to our first STEM lesson of Term 2 2020. I'm so excited to be back in front of you, even though our classroom is looking a little bit different at the beginning of this term, but I'm sure we'll be back together in no time. Now, throughout this term, we're going to be looking at the design technologies units, and we're going to be completing some investigations and designing and constructing some things to solve some problems and to meet some solutions. All right? What we're doing is going to closely align with what you were doing in science this term. And across that unit, we're really looking at human impact. However, we're going to take it and make it a little bit broader in, within our STEM unit than what you're going to do in science. So we really want to think about what is the impact that humans are having on our planet. Okay, we're going to think about that from a really small scale, from what happens in your own home what happens in your own community, all the way to a global impact and to think about what we are doing as a global community and as global citizens and what impact we're having on our earth. We do things and we've created things in our everyday lives without even thinking about it that challenge the way our earth works and that challenges the way our co-inhibitors like our other animals on this planet um, also are designed to live sustainably. So we're going to be starting off by doing an investigation today. This is one you are welcome to try at home. However, please check with mum, dad, or whoever really does the groceries first before doing it. All right, making sure you're getting permission because in order to do it, we are going to be dropping some eggs. I've got two eggs here in front of me and I'm going to be using these two for my experiment today. So let's have a look at what we're doing. So, for my first experiment this week, I'm going to be dropping these eggs. And I'm going to be dropping them on two different surfaces. The first surface I'm going to be dropping it on is grass. Alright, grass is naturally occurring. It's found in most of our backyards and front yards. And everyone should have access to it. Alright, grass is also naturally on the ground under a lot of trees where birds build their nests. And this is going to be an important part of understanding what happens today. The other surface I'm going to be dropping it on is some bitumen. All right, bitumen is found and it's used to build most of the roads in our suburbs and it's pretty common as well. However, the big difference between bitumen and our first um, surface grass is that bitumen is man-made. It doesn't naturally occur. Roads don't just pop up overnight by themselves. It is a human invention that we put there to make our travel um, easy and accessible for different vehicles. So we're going to go out now and we're going to find our patch of grass and our patch of bitumen and we're going to drop these two eggs and see what happens. one egg left standing. The egg that was dropped on the grass survived its fall, whereas the egg that was dropped on the bitumen, not so much. So this is because grass is a naturally occurring surface. All right, birds over time through their adaptations and survival instincts have designed their eggs so that when they fall on grass, they are able to survive. All right, and this means that we have greater bird populations because when nests get knocked out of um, the trees and their eggs fall to the grass, they're more likely to survive this fall. However, when humans co come in and pretty much change the game by inventing concrete, bitumen, bricks, and other tough surfaces, eggs aren't able to withstand that. And this is one way that humans are having a very minor but significant impact on the earth. We really don't realize just how much our choices can impact the world around us. And we see this every day through rubbish and other forms of pollution and where humans are having an impact on the earth. So what I want you to think about at home for our very first week is what things around your house do you think are having an impact on the earth and why? I want you to see if you can come up with a list of five things that have changed the environment in which your house may have naturally been built 
or things that your family are doing every day that could potentially be impacting the earth. Do they recycle? Do they have long showers? What else are they doing? All right, once you've written your list of five things, please make sure you keep that safe. That list is gonna come in handy and we're gonna elaborate and expand on that in our future lessons. Thank you so much for tuning in today and taking part in our first lesson, boys and girls. I really look forward to seeing all the work you've done and I look forward to seeing you whenever we're back at school this term. Thanks, bye.